Next in our series about where did insect order names come from and how do they help us identify the group and why is it important for them? You know, kind of like everything involved here. We have the butterflies and the moths, the Lepidoptera. So Terra means wing and Lepido means scale. So they are the scaly winged insects. Why do they have scales? Well, let's first talk about where we think scales came from. We think that scales are modified sensory bristles called sensilla. All insects have sensilla. They're just little bristles and hairs all over the body to let the insect know what's going on. They can feel air currents. They can tell when it's about to bump into something. They're just very great for the bug in general. Let it know what's going on in life. So that's what scales are. They're modified sensory bristles. But why did they originally evolve? Well, we think that it's actually to escape spiders. You know anything about spiders? Most of them, well, some of them, build webs to capture insects. Insect lands in, it gets stuck, spider eats it. That's all well and great unless you have scales on your wings that come off like powder and then you hit the web and then you just fly away because they do, and all the spider gets is a mouthful of some very crunchy scales that are, aren't good to eat. You can actually tell spiders that are specialists on butterflies and moths because of the shape of their web. Spider webs that are preying on moths will have a like a top layer. So that way when the moth or butterfly enters, the scales come off. But then there's like a tier. There's like there's more and more tiers of this web underneath. So the moth will hit the web, the scales will come off, it'll fall to the next tier, more scales will fall off, it'll fall to the next tier until it lands at the bottom, all of the scales have come off and the moth dies. It's like, I don't know, a plinko board of death, I guess. And so basically by the time the moth eats, there's all the way at the bottom, there's no more scales left, the web actually sticks to the wings and the legs and all this stuff and then it dies. <laughs> Modern day moths and butterflies now use their scales for a whole host of communication and effing up communication purposes. You can imbue these scales with pigments to give them different colors, or you can change the structure of the scale so that way you can get really beautiful iridescent color shifting duochrome colors on them. You can either be using these colors to signal to other species. You like maybe you need to tell a bird that you're toxic. You can be using these colors to signal to your mates to be like, yes, yes, I actually am the best. Look at how beautiful I am, right? You can be using these colors to create eye spots or you can be using these colors to create other forms of mimicry to trick predators into thinking that you're toxic or harmful if you're not, or actually tell predators that you're toxic if you are. <laughs> or you can be using them as camouflage. That way you can you know, just kind of blend into the background or make the bird think that you're something that you're not. So there you have the story of the scaled winged insects from bristles to beautiful scales.